let us let us integrate tan inverse of x again we're going to use uh, integrating by parts so i've started with a substitution so i'm letting tan inverse of x is t okay so when tan inverse of x is t i can write x is tan t and differentiating with respect to t dx by dt is tan inverse uh, sorry sex squared t okay so i can write dx as six squared t dt so what we can do is we can in place of dx i can put six squared t dt and in place of tan inverse of x i can put t so this is what i've written so this implies tan inverse of x dx changes into a t form that is t times 10 uh, sorry 10 t times 6 squared t dt so this dx is changed to uh, 6 squared t dt and this tan inverse of x is t okay so now we're going to do uh, integrating by parts so this is how you set out so there will be say uh, that let f of t is equal to t if f of t is t and g prime of t is x squared t so these are the two functions so integrating by parts you have two functions where the first function one of the one of them you take as f of uh, a function the second as a gradient function so g dash t or g prime t is x squared t so here we are integrating and here we are differentiating. So when you differentiate t with respect to t, you get 1. And the integration of 6 squared is tan t. Because the differentiation of sec tan is 6 squared. So they are opposite of each other. And this is the formula of integration by parts. That integration of f of t times g dash t dt is f of t times g t. g of t mi minus integration of f dash t times g of t dt okay so i have to just substitute the values so this is f of t which is t and g dash is x squared is equal to cross multiply this two okay so that's what you do so multiply this two minus the integration of this two it's if you set out like this, it's easy to remember. First, you find the derivative. Sorry, the integration of this two. My is equal to the product of this two minus the integration of this two or the product of this two. That is f dash t is 1 times g of t is tan t. Okay, so the integration, we have to look of integration of tan t. And tan t can be written as sine t over cos t. Now, you, you should know this formula, integration of f dash x over f of x dx is natural log of f of x plus c. Okay, so, if you, the derivative of cos is negative sign, so what I've done in the next step is, I've taken this negative and put it along with minus, or put it with sign, this is minus sine t and so i have to put a plus here so where now what has happened is this is f dash x or f dash t and this is f of t so the numerator is the numerator is the derivative of the denominator so that ends as natural log of cos t plus c i'll remove this now the wheel so this is the answer now explain how from here you can get this so uh, so let us can understand till here to understand these two steps i'll go over these uh, steps first so we set we started with uh, that x sorry uh, t is tan inverse of x so if t is tan inverse of x this implies from this we can say x is tan t so x squared is tan squared t and i'm adding one to both sides so one plus x squared is one plus tan squared t and one plus tan squared is six squared so i can say one plus x squared is six squared t 
I am taking the reciprocal of both, so 1 over 1 plus x squared is 1 over 6 squared. And 1 over 6 squared is nothing but cos squared t is 1 over 1 plus x squared. And taking square root, I can say cos t is 1 over square root of 1 plus x squared. So in place of cos t, that's how I wrote this, t tan t tan t is x and t is tan inverse of x. That's how I wrote x times tan inverse of x plus natural log of 1 over square root of 1 plus x squared. And here, natural log of 1 over square root of 1 plus x squared is nothing but natural log of, <clears throat> I can write this as 1 plus x squared to the power negative half okay and applying the log rule this half can be multiplied with and that's how i got this negative half okay and that is the square root will be removed so this is the most simplified form of the integration of tan inverse of 